Let me tell you a story about why I just fired this woman who was a client for the last couple of months and why she will not be the only one. But I will also give you one super simple technique that will instantly have this woman like you without you having to change. However, if you do this wrong, they will definitely not want to date you. But let's first talk about a client and let's call her Emily for privacy reasons. Emily was one of those driven, ambitious women. She was easy on the eyes and probably like a seven and a half to like an eight and a half. For the last 15 years, she had been corporate business machine. Therefore, she was in a great financial position. So she put some of that money to good use and hired us to manage her dating profiles. We were saving her tons of times, but there was one big problem. You see, a couple months back, we had our introduction call and she told me that she was looking for like an overall nice guy. Okay, looking, decent job and somebody who was friendly. So we went out and got her lots of matches on dating app. But every time we send her the profile, we get the same type of reply. He doesn't seem that interesting. He should be a little bit taller. I don't see that he has any passion. We went for like normal requirements to like a list longer than all the presents that I wanted when I was a kid. Week after week, my doubts started to grow. Till one day, I was like, this has to stop. She just has expectations that are too unrealistic. I had to fire her. Now, does this mean that we will never work with women again? Of course not. Men and women both deserve to find a loving partner. I will always try to do my best to support everybody. But let's talk about the elephant in the room. What made it that Emily had this distorted image of reality? For that, there's three main reasons and the third one is quite brutal. But for the first reason, we should actually take a look at Apple and see that they actually did something similar. Apple recently launched their $4,000 goggles and the internet was filled with them. Every tech review was worth wearing them and people were experimenting with them legit 24-7. Fast forward a couple of months and they're being used as art pieces on display because nobody wants to wear them. Apple had spent billions of dollars creating a product very few people wanted. And that same thing goes for Emily. She had spent 15 years becoming a very successful, well-off lady in her 30s. But that's not what her type of guy was actually looking for. Her type, which was like a successful, good-looking and smart guy, looks for different things. Her type is looking for like a very attractive, young, smart and carefree girl. She became the thing that she was looking for. And that's a giant mistake. So the lesson is that you should always remember that what you might be chasing very hard for might have very little value for your potential partner. When it comes to this, I always think about bodybuilders. After spending like three years in a gym, like naturally lifting, your body will not improve any more than girls like you more. So all the steroids and all the days that you're spending in the gym after that point is just a giant waste of time. You will not become more attractive to a partner. And let's be honest, isn't like, girls 90% of the reason why guys go to the gym in the first place? For the second reason, we should actually start blaming Ryan Gosling. Uh, we don't like you here anymore. You see, women get bombarded by these hyper-romantic love stories. She walks into a stranger on the street, one look and they both heavily fall in love with each other, only to be separated by something very stupid like their parents' opinions. But is this how normal relationships are formed nowadays? Definitely not, yet so many women are looking for this perfect fairy tale, and everything that isn't that intense get labeled as, eh, it's too boring. Oftentimes, you have to make relationships work. They don't work out of the blue. For the last problem, that's actually the brutal one, we need to take a look at the dating market. So girls are on dating apps and they get a lot of messages from guys, and because they have so many options, obviously they start to focus on the top guys. But what's happened when they want to settle down with one of those top guys? But often those guys are just there to hook up and they will get disappointed. And that's when the problem starts. You see, from that point onwards, her reference material is all the top guys. But those are the people that don't want to settle down with her. So every guy that does want to settle down with her will be compared to all the top guys. And this is the problem that I call the pump and dump and compare problem. Now we know what happened with Emily and why this happens to women. But we need to talk about the simple way for you to deal with this. Because if you don't anticipate, you're going to miss out on some amazing women. Don't get me wrong, there are some amazing women who have this. But before I help you out getting these women, I'd love for you to help me out with hitting the goal of 10,000 subscribers this year. So subscribe and like this video and you will make my day. Now let me tell you a story about how I dealt with this. When I first got into business, like everybody, I wasn't successful right away. But I didn't want to promote myself as like unemployed or messing around. So I had to find the right solution for this. So what I started doing is labeling myself as I'm working on a startup or I started my own business. And this actually worked great. And more importantly, they taught me a very powerful lesson. You see, 
Women love finding a guy that has a lot of potential, who they can support and grow with. This turns it from barely anything and a failure to like an adventure and a journey. So if you're a chef, instead of saying that I'm a chef, you instead say, I'm currently learning a lot of culinary art and want to open my amazing restaurant one day with fusion food. You see the big difference that that makes? So the lesson is reframe your situation to something somebody wants to buy into. In the end, everybody is a product and you need to market it correctly. Not everybody is going to get great results in dating and Emily was a prime example of that. In order for you to get the best results from online dating, we got a great video about understanding fashion that the clients always love. And if you're already busy texting and wonder why some girls aren't responding anymore, check out this video about why she stopped responding and what you can do about it.